Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My brother Judge Ijazul Hassan. My brother Judge Muhammad Aminuddin Khan. Honorable Mr. Justice Muhammad Qasif Khan. Chief Justice of the Lahore High Court. Honorable Judges of the Lahore High Court. Honorable Judges of the District Judiciary. Mr. Habibullah Amir. Amir. Director General Pakistan Judicial Academy, Mr. Ali Jalal, Program Director, Punjab Planning and Development Board, members of the Legal Fraternity, Secretary, uh, Chief Secretary Punjab, IG Police, and other government officials and uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Well, what uh, I wanted to say, most of the things have been said by the Honorable Mr. Justice Jawad Hassan, Honorable Mr. Justice Shahid Kareem, then Honorable Mr. Justice Shahid Waheed, and the Honorable Chief Justice himself. I'll uh, try to say things which I want to say before this uh, August gathering. It is a real honor and pleasure to be addressing today's gathering. I would like to thank the Honorable Mr. Justice Muhammad Qasim Khan, the Chief Justice of Law High Court, for inviting me to attend this today's event. Today is the cl closing ceremony of the training workshop for District Commercial Court judges, which commenced from 7th of September 2020. I have uh, read the program schedule of the workshop and have noted that quite distinguished speakers have addressed the workshop in which they have spoken and have addressed major topics relating to commercial disputes and their resolution by the commercial courts. It is really heartening to see that the Lahore High Court has taken upon itself the agenda of not only creating commercial courts in the province of Punjab, but also providing necessary training to the judges of the commercial court and also equipping them with all required structural facilities and systems. I am also very impressed that this workshop has the collaboration of the World Bank, World Bank Group and the Punjab Planning and Development Department. This collaboration, in my view, will provide a sustainable resource to the Law High Court, where it will provide necessary tools and kits for equipping the, and training the commercial court judges for effective handling and deciding commercial cases in the court. I may emphasize that the Pakistan is a developing, a developing country, and its major income from service sector, which is basically business sector. And such income is also dependent on agriculture sector. The major component of doing business is a contract. The contract are of three forms. First is oral contract, second written contract, and the third implied contract. All these types of contracts are governed by law. In Pakistan, it is the Contract Act of 1872. Well, we are still in that century. The parties also the parties who enter into the contract are supposed to know their obligations under the contract which they have to meet. Most of the time the contracts are fulfilled without any dispute. However, in some contract disputes do arise between the parties to the contract. Such disputes invariably lead to the court proceedings. The court proceedings in the contract disputes are of utmost importance for the most basic reason that the parties to the contract rely upon the decision of the courts. The contracts invariably involve disputes which have monetary issues as well as that of goods and services. The monetary issues and issues of goods and services thus go into suspense and stagnation until it's, it is decided by the court. Here, the very functionality of the court and its structuring become very relevant because 
contracting parties cannot be kept in suspense for a long. This is uh, where a very de dedicated, qualitative, and well-structured judicial process is required. This dedicated, qualitative, and well-structured judicial process can only be achieved where specialized and ded dedicated courts are created for dealing with the cases of contract and their disputes. The experience shows that the countries who have created a de dedicated, qualitative, and well-structured judicial process are among the most dominating economies in the world. The future of Pakistan for acquiring that economic dom do dominance is also related to the similar dedicated, qualitative, and well-structured judicial process. Without providing this dedicated, qualitative, and well-structured judicial process, Pakistan cannot become a reckoning economy, nor can economic well-being and the betterment of the people be achieved. Thus, for doing business, the judicial process is like an oxygen to the human body, without which there cannot be a life. Ladies and gentlemen, for creation of such judicial process, there has to be necessary legislation. Constantly keeping pace with the development taking place in the world, such legislative process is of fundamental importance for that it is the legislation through which the courts are created and the judicial process, power and procedures are prescribed. A working group under the supervision of uh, Mr. Justice Shahid Kareem, judge of the Lahore High Court, has already been established to facilitate Punjab Planning and Development Board and Punjab Industries Department and also to draft legislation of establishment of commercial courts. A draft of Punjab Commercial Court Act 2020 has already been made. I have gone through the same and I have noted that it has, some, it has been prepared after putting in considerable efforts and I congratulate the, congratulate the team who has made this draft. The only thing that uh, I found very am amusing in this draft was that uh, the commercial courts in Punjab are going to have jurisdiction, admiralty jurisdiction, so also maritime jurisdiction. Well, <laughs> I, I, I need to understand from Mr. Shahid Karim how that is going to go about it. From commercial, for commercial disputes, there has to be structured proceeding of the court, effective case management, court automation, and alternate dispute resolution mechanism. Now the commercial courts have been created in major cities of Punjab, namely Lahore, Multan, Faisalabad, Gujranwala, and Rawalpindi, which can regulate their own procedures, and for this, they will have to rely upon the procedure provided in the Code of Civil Procedure of 1908. Mr. Shahid Karim has just informed Mr. Justice Shahid Karim has just informed that some major amendments in the um, rules of the Civil Procedure Code have been made by the Punjab, by the Punjab government. The commercial courts, being a dedicated court, will have, it, will have to decide commercial disputes on fast track basis and shall ensure that such disputes are settled within the shortest possible time. And in my estimation, a simple contractual dispute could be decided within a period of six months, while disputes having wider implication could well be decided within a period of one year from the date of their filing. Judges need to be trained and to become expert, and they have to be provided with all requisite facilities, amongst which automation information technology is indispensable. Judges are also required to be provided proper atmosphere like courtrooms, chambers, offices, and also libraries, trained staff with support of research officers and law clerks. Ease of doing business is the hallmark for the economic development of the country. And the only manner in which the ease of doing business can be obtained is by creating a dedicated, qualitative, 
and uh, well-structured judicial process. It is for achieving this purpose, the present training workshop of the, for district commercial court judges has been held. Such training workshop of district commercial court judges should be held periodically so that the judges of the commercial court are made aware of the less, latest trends in dealing with the commercial cases. Ladies and gentlemen, I may point out that heavy duty is cast upon the government to deliver to the people easy and inexpensive expensive dispensation of justice. This is the fundamental duty of the government that has been cast upon it by the Constitution. Through courts all over Pakistan, though, though court, courts all over Pakistan perform their duty of hearing and deciding cases, but many a time it has been found that the laws are found outdated as the ways and means of doing business have changed. Constant law making and its function uh, is the function of the, of the legislature and it should not be undermined. On the other hand, government is required to perform its duty of providing all necessary infrastructures to the courts where disputes between parties can be heard and decided in a reasonable good atmosphere and good setting. The legislature, so also the government, has to be fully cognizant of the development taking place in uh, the world and accordingly take measures for immediate inculcation of these developments in the laws of Pakistan and so also update the judiciary. No laxity on this account can at all be made. If such laxity is made, it will seriously affect the development of the country. Law and order is only is also a prime function of the government and in this regard effective policing is in indispensable. However, what you see is that the policing in the country has been politicized, the result of which is that the life and property of the people are not safe and even innocent travelers on the highway meet serious crime like the one we have heard about two days back. It is shameful to note that neither any security system was placed on the highway nor any safety mechanism. The government needs to wake up and immediately restore the credibility of the policy of the police department by allowing ranks to take initiative and decide the issues of police, police department themselves. And no amount of any interference whatsoever is made either by the government or by any political person in the police force. The recent developments in the Punjab police is also a sign of deteriorating police system. The level of political interference in the police department. No police force can function as a disciplined professional force which guarantees to the people safety of life and property unless it is de-shackled from politics and allowed to run as thoroughly disciplined professional force responsible for its own conduct. Policing in the country seems to be in the hands of unprofessional and inept persons which have seriously eroded the law and order situation of the country. I hope that the Honorable Chief Justice of the Law High Court with the support of his team and collaboration of the World Bank Group and the Punjab Planning and Development Department will be able to achieve goal of fully dedicated, qualitative and well-structured commercial court functioning in the province of Punjab. This very step of creating, this very step of uh, creating dedicated, qualitative, and well-structured commercial court should also be replicated in the remaining three provinces and Islamabad capital territory. I have, I have, on entering the office of the Chief Justice of Pakistan have taken an initiative of creation, creation, creating of a commercial court in the city of Karachi in the manner of the model court. The project has been assigned to the Federal Judicial Academy in collaboration with the Saint Judicial Academy for preparing of the action plan and its standing operating procedures. And preliminary report in this regard was submitted to me a few days back. I understand the further work on it is being done by the Director General of the Federal Judicial Academy, 
and model courts. And I hope to receive formal working paper soon so that the commercial courts are created in the city of Karachi in near future. I wish all success in, in your endeavors for making Pakistan a reckoning, a reckoning economy for the ease of doing business and for ensuring the best economic growth in the country for providing better living standard to the people. Pakistan, find the button.